Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. I really appreciate it. Check out my wife's channel as well if you want, if you're interested. Might be some fun stuff there. I appear there from time to time as well. So yeah, there you go. But here we are, all right? We're going to keep working on this text tag system. So the next thing I guess is going to be to just make sure we can move this text tag in any way so while we're working here the lifetime's going down the lifetime's going down down now and we're gonna move it so this text dot move we're gonna do this we're gonna do a this dear x multiplied by this speed multiplied by dt okay and then we're gonna do this uh dear y multiplied by this speed by like this dt or just dt now i have forgotten a little bit how to work with dt again and i'm very sorry but this should be fine i'm pretty sure uh you know it's just been a while since i i worked on games and just doing these small things you know you kind of forget things from time to time but that's where it's good you know check out the older videos go ahead check out these sfml tutorials C++ tutorials, maybe you'll find something you're interested in. Uh, but here we are. Now we're moving. Move the tag. Uh, update the lifetime. I haven't been doing comments a lot either because it takes time from the video and I don't have a lot of time. Uh, but what we're going to do next is we're going to uh, move it in a certain direction. And then we're going to, what else do we have here? Uh, no, actually, we don't have a lot more. We'll keep this and then we'll see how that works out uh, in the system, though. What we need is a font. Now, if we go into our folder, we go into our wherever you have your folder, you should have a fonts folder here. And I just want to copy this. Uh, copy this path. And I'll remember one of these names and we're going to load that font in. Now, you're going to create a text tag system with a certain font file name. All right, and the text tag system is going to take that and it's going to say std string font file. That's what we're going to do. And then maybe we're going to have, oh, we'll see, we'll see. We, we'll have an unlimited number of text tags right now. But for now, we'll, we'll do this. Now, uh, let's remove the old one. The font file is right here. Let's open that file here. Uh, whoops, what did I remove? Oh, my bad. Let's remove this. Good, 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 good. Did I, did I do the if and def? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Now we have our text tag system. We want to load the font. That's pretty much what we want to do. We want to say this font dot load from file. Uh, font file. Good. Simple as that. We'll also do a little check here to make sure it works. If this if Okay, here, uh, std, okay, let's just make an error message if this fails, uh, std, see out, error, text tag system, construct, constructor, failed to load font. Uh, fail to load font, font, file. Okay, that's our error right there. Do we have any GUI stuff? GUI, no, we don't have any of that. Okay, some of my text games, I usually have a little preset for how to print out errors and stuff. But we'll just do this for now or just keep error. There we go. So we'll load the font. Pretty much that's what we're going to do. We have our vector for the let's just minimize that there we go we have our vector for the tags now as i said before vector is not a good thing i think to have here uh but we will keep it for now anyway uh very good we don't have to do much more in this we just have to include it in our game state which i want to do right away just open your game state that's where we play the game and we're going to include that all the systems here include text tag system good 
and we'll be able to create text tags wherever we want. We're going to want presets here later on, so we're going to create a few presets uh, depending on how we do it. Then we'll copy stuff. So I'm guessing we're going to do it that way. Good. Uh, in the in inside, where am I? Here we go. Sorry about that. Uh, let's open up this again. Let's fix all the render and update stuff. Define all of this. Ooh, ooh, I just, ooh, ooh. If you press control underline, you go to the definition file. Oh, shit, I never knew that. I think someone told me once, but I didn't listen. Sorry to that person. Uh, but, okay, so when you're done, you can just do control boop, control underline, control dash. <laughs> we like that. That's cool. Okay, functions. Good. <clears throat> We're going to add a few tags here. A few tags. Uh, let's just call this eh, 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 eh. unsigned tag type is what we're gonna call it because we're gonna have types. That's how we're gonna create tags. Uh, get out of here. Tag type. And it's internally going to do that for us. So obviously what we want here is an enum. Uh, Tag types, tag types, and then this enumeration is going to be just default, uh, damaging, damage, 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 uh, or negative positive, we'll call it negative positive, you can name these whatever you want experience experience uh, negative tag positive tag experience tag default tag leave it at that for now 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 uh, environmental tag hopefully I spelled that correctly so I have a few tag types here uh, very good, very good. Good, good. Now, to update and do stuff. Here, we're going to do a for auto i this tags i, or we'll just call this tag tag dot render target easy, easy, easy. We're rendering all the tags. We're updating all the tags. Tag Date, DT, send that in there. See how easy that was? No bigger deal, right? Good. Adding tags. Well, we're going to have to create a few defaults here. Uh, for that, I'm going to create a little private function here. Uh, private functions. Void. Init. Variables. Maybe we want to do that. Void. Init. Uh, tag templates good 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 so we have private functions and then we have construct constructor uh, constructor uh, destructor and then let's see very good very good very good uh, pa, 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 pa. so init variables we don't need anything yet but here we want to initialize some tags what I'm gonna do how I'm gonna do that is probably create a pa, 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 pa. let's see those are my actual tags and I'm gonna do a std map std string std no text tag pointer or just a text tag let's see just a text tag we'll do like that tag templates this is going to be a little easier for me so all we need to do is this tag templates and just give it a da, 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 like this 
default tag. Mm, or should we do init or int int? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My bad, my bad. Let's do int here. That's better. Because we'll use the enumerations as types. So int or unsigned. And we'll do uh, default tag is a new text tag with a bunch of stuff which we'll figure out uh, but before I do that I'm just gonna go ahead and do this in it tag templates this in it variables or this should be before it like that very good guys and girls also I forgot one thing we want to make it in it font fonts here I don't want to forget that I want to do that in one of these functions so let us copy all this crap into that and just call that function so hopefully that didn't go too fast all I did was send this in and then I'm gonna send the string into this as well font file put that in the parameter here and also in the h file put that in the parameter for init fonts and then it should be able to find that and yeah so we'll be able to initialize the font and then we can use this font here to fix that as no text let's just say zero zero okay uh 1.f 0.f 1.f or minus 1.f to go right up color sf color white uh, char size maybe 12 lifetime 100.f 1000.f uh, 200.f I don't know something like that okay we have this default text tag now we can use this when we want to create a tag so we'll create them from the templates so there you go guys and girls hopefully that wasn't too fast uh, I'll try to uh, check that out <clears throat> um, in the next video if I can just slow down a little bit but you know we don't have a lot of time so that's why I go fast uh, but thank you so much for watching in the next one we should be able to get a text tag onto the screen and just troubleshoot it as well as we can all right so thank you so much for watching take care I'll see you guys and girls in the next one right bye bye